Hey, this is JD and FIA. In this video, I want to talk about um, taking a song that you know already know how to play or a song that you're learning how to play. And I want to talk about how you can practice it in all of your keys, just ways that you can look at that song in, in order to play it, you know, in all your keys as you become a more uh, proficient uh, player. All right, so um, we'll look at the song, um, just as popular song a lot of people know, we'll look at uh, Nobody Greater by uh, uh, Willie McDowell, I believe. Forgive me if I'm wrong. All right, so uh, you have a search style over to the five chord, couldn't find nobody, goes to the four chord. All right, then the key of C, we're just taking those progressions number them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. So the first chord is going to be a five chord. So I'm going to five. I like to just, instead of playing a regular G, B, and D as a five chord, I like to throw that nine, that, that uh, A in there to make it a, give it more color. Give it more color. And I do that on all the chords. So, search so all over. Couldn't find no uh, F. Got an F major chord and a nine. Search high and low, so it goes from a five chord to a four chord, two times. All right, the next chord is going to go to this chord. So, and the key thing, the reason why I'm doing this, you definitely got to identify your, you know, your chords that you're doing before you can try to play them in other keys. All right, so this chord here is a B flat chord, B flat major chord, B flat D and F with the nine in it, the C. All right, left hand B flat and F. All right, now. I'm um, in the key of C. This B flat chord is a whole step down from C, which is B flat. I can look at it as a whole step down, or I can look—I mean, I can look at it as the chord as a whole step down, or I can look at it as my flat seven. All right, this is my major seven, flat seven, chord on my, on my flat seven. All right. So so far we got five. Couldn't find nobody. All right, four. Search high and low to the five. Couldn't find nobody. All right, then it goes to the. Uh, flat seven. All right. The next chord goes to the four chord. Take that same F major chord, F A C. Add the G to it. All right. Nobody greater than you. Back to C major. All right. With the D in it. All right. So if we want to take that, so so the song is, and you may have to write it down if you have to. The song is a five chord to a four chord to a five chord to a four chord to a flat seven chord to a four chord. All right, so just have those different chords. Um, so if you want to take it to another key, we take it to D flat. Get the you know get our scale out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. As long as we know where our, our major, as long as we know our major scales, we can play it. To my five, couldn't find no. To my four, same thing. G, G flat major, just adding a do nine. Same thing on A flat. A flat major, adding nine. All right. Next chord is gonna be the flat seven. We're in the key of D flat, so a whole step back is gonna be B major. All right, now four chord. All right, back to our one chord, D flat. I'm gonna take it to D major. Five chord is gonna be A major. So I got first all over. Couldn't find no to my four chord. High and low, still couldn't find no G major to my four chord. And then my flat seven is gonna be whole step back C. All right, and then back to my four chord, which is gonna be G. All right, just taking those notes in my scale, number them out, and then just playing them. So I'm gonna take it to E flat. All right. Five chord and E flat, one, two, three, four, five, B flat major. Find nobody. B flat major. B flat major. To my four chord, A flat major. My flat seven is gonna be D flat. Four chord, A flat. Back to my skip around a little bit. Let's go to the key of A major. One. E major. It's going to be our five. So, to our four chord, D major. 
5.5 E major. Just taking the same chords, E major, and the 9. Alright, go to my flat 7, I'm in A, so it's going to be G. Alright, my 4th chord in the key of A is going to be D. Back to my 1 chord. B major. Five four is gonna be G G flat. One two three four five. And your goal is you want to at least sound consistent, you know, in all your keys. All right. My flat seven for B major is A major. All right. My four quarter is B e major. Alright, back to my one chord. Let's move down, let's go to uh, A flat. E flat major, my five chord, my four chord, D flat major. Alright, my flat seven is gonna be G flat. Four chords gonna be D flat. Back to my one chord. And one more. Um, try to do one more for you. I do B flat. All right, so our five chords gonna be F major. Four chord gonna be E flat. And then our um, <clears throat> then our flat seven is gonna be A flat, four chord, E flat, back to D flat. So the, the, I guess the whole point of this video is if you flat out you know number out your progressions and know your scales, then you can just go to those different chords you know just by knowing. Where it is, so you know, if you're in a choir practice and you're singing, singing, and you're like, you know, playing right here, in the key of D, and you know, they're like, yo, can you take me up? You know, you don't want to have to try to find a transpose button, you want to be able to go up to E flat, you know, you know, at least for the rehearsal, you know, or on the fly, you know. You don't want to have to keep using that transpose. Alright, so I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.